Today, Dave, the Sandman, and my great friend from the original series are back on the road again for another challenge Annika revisited. Over to you, 1992 Annika. This week we're in Shropshire. We're sort of between Wolverhampton and Telford. And I've been given a net. Paul's just said I've got to go fishing. I'm visiting the All Brighton Trust Moat and Gardens. Before I even get through the front door, I get this welcome from volunteer Dave. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh don't I get it? I think Dave might be too young to remember my original visit. I, I don't think I'm ever going to get out of this class. But it turns out all the volunteers have been shown the programme as part of the celebrations. No, you're my hero from helping here and keeping this place going. You're, you're our hero. Do you know Dave, our sound man? Do you remember him? Hello. It's Dave! <laughs> no, come back! I think he's pleased to see Dave. Oh, come back! Hey, come back! It's Dave! It's Dave! <laughs> Have great, great hug. Hug. That wonderful welcome brings back so many memories of this challenge from 1992. Help Terry Mosley catch the first fish at the All Brighton Moat Project's angling competition at PS. The project hasn't been built yet. We've come back to All Brighton. This is a fishing project for the disabled. The challenge was set by Terry Mosley. It's not that we're moaning saying that we want this and we want that. We just want the ability to be able to get access to places so we can fish. If it was wet now, we'd have no chance at all sort of thing. There was an old ancient moat. It's now 9.30, it's Wednesday, and we've got till two o'clock on Friday to complete the whole thing. We had to dig out and fill with 200,000 gallons of water to make these walkways all the way around so that people in wheelchairs could have access to fishing. People like Terry, who had been a keen angler before a terrible accident. I was in the parachute regiment in 1976. I had an accident, sporting injury, which fractured my spine. And that triggered off multiple sclerosis. We are the heroes of our time. And despite only having 48 hours to complete the challenge, the community came together. And whilst keeping archaeologists happy... I watched that 13th century urn! It's a joke. And dealing with a crisis here and there... At 3 o'clock in the morning, the timber actually ran out. We finished on time. And even got a fly pass from the local RAF Cosworth base. But what does it look like 25 years later? Operations manager Sandy is going to show me. 25 years, it's just wiped away. Can you remember what it was like? Well, we, Dave and I are having a bit of a wallow. We, we remember a lot of mud and a oh, lot it's of rain. Dave. It's Dave! Oh, oh God, Dave. here we go again. <laughs> Dave, could you just go? <laughs> It's fitting that as 25 years ago the moat opened with a fishing competition, they're holding another one today. And though he's slippery, he still gets caught. But I It looks wonderful, but I want to catch up with Terry, and I'm told his fishing coach, Harry, will not only let me lick his lolly, but show me where he is. Is it we see your partner? Try up there. Try up there. Come with me, Harry. Oh, Terry! Terry and Harry very kindly agreed to not only give me a fishing masterclass, but also tell me why the moat's been such a success. Tell Annika what's the best part about the moat. The what is fishing. The fishing. What about when you told me about wheeling round with the access? I can do it all on my own. And he certainly proved that. You could teach Annika how to fish. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish. Different types of people, it doesn't matter whether they're children, whether they're adults. You know, whether they've come back from combat or anything. It's a lifeline for so many people. It's yeah. just like a family where they all muck yeah. in together and make it work. Yeah. What has made it for me is A, seeing you and yeah. hearing how many people are using they this place now. They just but love B, it. meeting Harry yeah. and David. He just loves it. He loves just, it. They love the place so much because it gives them their own independence. And once they've got their independence, they can build the confidence and then move out to the big wide world. And that's all it's about. So it works on so many more levels than just fishing. Wow! Look at the size of that one! But I'm not just here to chat and reminisce. There's important work to do. Someone had to hand out the competition prizes. I find it quite staggering that 
25 years on, this is still the only place like this in the whole of the UK. So thank you for inviting me back. And um, as you've just said, see you all in another 25 years. 16, that's fantastic. Whilst the Challenge Programme got the project off the ground, the community has taken it from strength to strength. RAF Cosworth are back with their Military Wives Choir. Sandy, her team and her father Bill, who I met on day one, have turned it into something wonderful. How are you feeling 25 years on? I'm feeling very excited. Excited to see you and excited to know what's going on here. And I'm really, really pleased you gave us a start, that kickstart that we needed. Well, I mean, look at it now. It's I mean, it, it's fantastic, isn't yes, it? It's the yes. only way to describe yes. it. Everyone in the village is pleased with it. We have so many volunteers. It's been a team, and I am very, very proud. Coming back here today, 25 years on, and that amazing reception, meeting all the volunteers, all the local community, all the kids, fishing with Terry, meeting lovely Harry. I, my heart is exploding. It's just been the most wonderful, wonderful experience. I'm just so proud. Love.